Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a new moon in Scorpio reading for my dearest fellow Virgos. Virgo, this new moon is set to be transformative and intense. Luna is not at her best in the most sensitive sign of Scorpio, with her tendency to be defensive to cover up vulnerabilities. But fortunately, Mars, the ancient co-ruler of this moon, is strong in Scorpio. So we won't be afraid to stand up and assert ourselves and act on our deepest desires. We have to keep in mind that Saturn is square this new moon and Mars, representing limitations we just simply have to accept. This new moon may feel difficult, but we'll come out stronger if we stay the course, face our shadows, be gentle in the face of our vulnerabilities, and use our power of endurance and commitment. All right, my dearest Virgos, if these messages resonate with you, I'm just going to ask that you like, share, subscribe. If you're after a private reading or you like the cards that I'm using, um, you can find all that info in the description box down below. Also, if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to ring that notification bell. Wow, Virgos. So we have the lovers, Gemini energy. You could have Gemini in your chart. You could be connected to a Gemini. You could be on a soulmate or twin flame journey, or you have some sort of guardian angel bringing you together with someone or something. It doesn't have to be love. Remember my new moon and my full moon readings are general Virgos, okay? So, but it does feel like it is, this does have to do with some sort of love situation, soulmate or twin flame, or there's a difficult choice to make here. Now what you're leaving behind, the three of swords in reverse, Virgo. You guys have been healing. Whoa, you're moving towards Ace of Wands, Three of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. Virgos, you guys are going to be very, very happy. Overall energy, the Three of Cups, something to celebrate. So some of my Virgos, this absolutely is reconciliation with an old friend, uh, maybe a job that you really loved. Um, you know, some of you guys might be going back into the office, but most of all Virgos, this is about love and you might be reconciling with somebody from your past. Now for some of you or those of you that absolutely don't want to reconcile with a past person, this could be somebody brand new. So the lover's card, we have strong Gemini energy, the three of cups. This is telling me, oop, and there might be a cancer or Pisces here involved. Somebody that you're currently in separation with. It could also be a Leo could be a Scorpio. There may have been an ending. You've been really strong. Things you've been trying to manifest a new connection. It's coming. There's something here. Whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, Virgo, it's on its way. A raise, a promotion, a partner, okay? A lover, um, a reconciliation. Because what the reason is you've dug deep, Virgo, with the Three of Swords in reverse and done some serious healing. And you're ready. What's moving towards you? The Ace of Wands. I mean, it doesn't get more clear than this, you guys. It's a brand new beginning. It's something that you're very passionate about. It's divinely orchestrated. There's divine timing at work. What you need to know, some of you guys, this may be a connection with work that you meet through work, but this is somebody who's going to be compatible, somebody who's going to build you up, somebody who's on the same page, and the Page of Swords, some of you, you might meet them online, or they're watching you, or you're watching them. I love this energy. I also see some of you guys could be manifesting a brand new job. This is like your dream job, or it's a promotion or a raise. The Page of Swords tells me you're going to be getting this communication that's going to make you really happy. It can be, hey, you know, we've reviewed your ap application. You're the best person for the job. Celebration. Let's go out. Let's have drinks. Let's have a family dinner, whatever it is. For others of you, I just feel like really similar to the Leo energy where you're going to be jumping up and down. So excited that this person has reached out or asked you on a date. Some of you guys, again, it could be like, let's heal and repair this. There's definitely a beautiful, passionate new beginning coming to you, Virgo. And this is one of your best readings I feel like we've had lately. Absolutely. And like I said, if you're not looking to anybody, looking to reconcile with anybody from the past or go back to a previous situation or job, this Ace of Wands tells me it could be somebody brand new. But look at all these cards in the upright, except for the Three of Swords in reverse exactly the way we want to see it because you guys have been healing and maybe you guys are healing from somebody that disappointed you or betrayed you or put you in a third party situation it's like you're not even going to remember who that was what they were like with this new energy coming your way 
Look at that. <laughs> Talking about the Leo reading, there's that solar plexus, divine masculine energy. You've done the work, you've balanced, you've healed, you've decisively dug really deep. And I think you've done a lot of shadow work here, Virgo. And this is the energy that you're in that's calling in this new connection. Some of you guys, it's a Sagittarius, but you guys have been patiently waiting. It's like Virgo, whatever you've been waiting for, it's coming. Whatever you've been trying to manifest, you've been strong throughout this whole process. Now this is karmic justice for you. Um, divine timing right there. The emperor. So a lot of you guys, you may be calling in an Aries or a Sagittarius, maybe even a Leo. Maybe you have strong fire in your chart, but this person is going to be so passionate about you. If this is a job, this could be your boss. They're just going to love what you do. You are the right fit for this position. Um, this is your divine masculine, but I do feel like my Virgos, a lot of you guys purged and released their distorted masculine energy, whether that was from another connection or that was somewhere lingering within your energetic body. And the nine of wands, a lot of my Virgos, this is going to come just when you kind of feel like giving up. But a lot of you, you didn't give up. And that's what's calling this in. Some of you, you might be starting your own business and you're going to start to see that success, or you might be able to quit your day jobs or whatever it is. And it's coming right at a time when you feel like, you know what, I just can't do this anymore. Remember, if you guys are entrepreneurs out there, Virgos, and I know a lot of you are, um, if you're, if you have this entrepreneurial spirit, um, remember that a lot of entrepreneurs give up right before they're really successful. So don't stop Virgo, whatever this is, it's coming. Have faith. Love is coming. Have faith. This opportunity is on its way. Success is coming. My goodness, beautiful energy. There you are. You've been on your own for a long time, Virgo. You've been doing the work. You've been doing the shadow work. Now it's time to come out and play. Seriously, seriously amazing energy in this reading, Virgos. And you know what? We deserve it. We absolutely deserve it. I know my Virgos out there. I do a, I do a number of readings for you guys. And absolutely, my Virgos, you deserve this success, this abundance, this love, this stability. Yeah, you're going through a transition. This is coming up for a lot of signs. Um and I, and I think it's that's this sort of period where you're not really sure if things are going to come through for you or not, or if you're on the right path. Just keep going. Trust it. Trust it. Have faith and have patience. Trust your intuition. Some of you guys could be in the healing arts or starting healing businesses. I did get this really strong. You know, we see the moon card and then we also see strength the death card. So we get a lot of that watery energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, which you could have in your chart. Maybe you're calling in a water sign, but just trust your intuition. You've got this. Yeah. And we get double confirmation of celebration. So whatever you're manifesting, Virgo, it's coming. <laughs> I'm like so happy for you. You have no idea. You guys deserve this. It's been a long time coming. Man, Virgo, so happy. This is like the Leo reading. So some of you guys could be Virgo Leo cusps because I do get that fire energy or maybe you're dealing with a Leo or I don't know, you have Leo in your chart. It doesn't have to be. It can be Aries as well. Very masculine energy though, but it's, it's healthy. It's positive. Okay. We get concern. So yep, some of my Virgos, that's, uh, that's your energy. Is this going to happen? Is this ever going to happen? Am I on the right path? And then we get mature man. So I told you masculine energy, this could be yours or it could be the person that's coming towards you. But Virgo, you're ready for this. And somebody sees you as the perfect person for them, for this job. Um, wow. Yeah. And we get thoughts. So be careful of overthinking things, Virgo. Um, but I also feel like you're going to be able to express your creativity. And for a lot of you, this is going to come as a shock and a surprise, even if it's something that you've been trying to manifest for quite some time. All right. And your final message is balance. So stay balanced, Virgo. I feel like some of you guys, you're, you're going to lose your SHIT here when this comes in. It's just going to feel so good. Something that you've worked for, something that you never gave up on. Um, so just make sure to stay balanced. You've got this and focus. Yeah, there you are. You've set the intentions, Virgo. So get ready. It's coming in, sending you guys lots of love and light. Take care.